Hey guys, it's me Stormy and welcome to your November 2016 Love Only Horoscope. So this month, fun, 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 love it. We're going to check in on Venus and Mars and Mars is going to be moving into our eccentric sign Aquarius. Now he's going to be here from November 9th all the way until December 19th. So what does this mean? We have Mars wanting to be friendly, wanting to make new friendships, wanting to deepen a friendship, maybe even wanting to play or do some things that are just really different, right? This can also mean that you are attracted to somebody who maybe has some qualities that normally you wouldn't be attracted to, right? And the other thing I think that this is really fun to be about is that you may feel like being more social, which is cool getting out maybe you meet somebody on Facebook and it's like oh I just friend requested but didn't think anything of it and then you start a really funny conversation or something it could really just be quirky and eccentric this month as far as Mars goes so that's a lot of fun then we look over to see what Venus is doing and she is moving her beautiful self into our very cautious earth sign of Capricorn, right? Now, what I love about this is that it'll be this way until December. So here, we can actually see commitments happening, different levels of commitment happening. There's um, this idea of responsibility where it's like, I can't just be in a relationship for no reason, or if I'm in a relationship, I need to own my part and be responsible. It's really a very responsible kind of energy that Venus moves into, but it's beautiful for helping us ground down and see the reality of some things. Maybe even to start to create some structure around a romance that's maybe just beginning or one that's going on, or even some structure around what you want to bring into your life if you're single. Now, let's keep in mind, that just because Capricorn is about responsibility and just because Capricorn is an earth sign, that doesn't take the sexy out. Capricorns will tell you that they are perfectly happy to bring some sexy back. Along with having a full moon in Taurus this month, the sensuality is here, okay? This could be a fun, I don't wanna say lusty, but there could be some lustiness, but there's definitely gonna be some sexy that is put into this month that you're able to access and use as long as you're willing to make the effort and just kind of go with the flow. You know what they say, the universe provides when the dude abides. You gotta put that surfer wisdom out there this month, okay guys? So if you wanna see what's going up for your sign, just stay tuned. Hi Libra, so this month, beautiful in the love zone and I think it's beautiful because it's still, you're still so supported in so much change and so much finding your voice and then actually standing on that voice that you found. Now you have Jupiter in your sign, fab, okay? Helping you to expand, but expansion is not always easy, right? It means we have to grow outside of our comfort zone. But I think that is still very much so a helper for you well until next year. Then we've got Venus rolling around and I feel like what Venus does for you this month is really help you see what you want, right? And it's not about that you don't have what you want, but it's like in the day-to-day -day mundane living of whether you're single or you're partnered up, what do you want in this area? What do you want partnerships to look like? Do they need to be a little bit more playful? Are you ready to go, oh my gosh, why am I holding on to this old relationship still? It's time for me to just get over this and let this go. If you're single, is it like, man, I want a partner who wants to like go dancing with me. I want a partner who wants to be a partner, right? And from there, what you have the opportunity to do is to actually go out in the world, use this Mars in Aquarius energy this month, go out in the world, go someplace new. I've been telling you that for months, but this is the thing at this point in the game, I feel like there's a different readiness to you. You've stood on your own voice a little bit longer. You've been making some decisions that are independent, especially in your love life of the concerns of other people. And you've also had to stand up to even some of your own ideas of what a relationship should look like and challenge those. And that is all to your betterment this month because there's an air of fun and of pleasure rolling through the month that you can really dig into and go out and see which ideals actually fit for you now. Matters of the heart this month just get a big fat yummy from me. Even in the situation where you're like, ugh, WTFCs is going on, you know what I mean? I do feel like there's a new layer of clarity for you coming this month, Libra. So enjoy it, dig in, and allow some of the confusion to float away from you, okay? All right, Libra, have a beautiful month.
Hello everyone, this is Monica with Advice to Think Twice and I'm here with your November 2016 mini tarot love scopes. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon and Rising. So please also watch your Moon and Rising Sun readings and hopefully the tarot um, love scopes as well as the astrology love scopes will um, give you a bit of a bigger picture as to what's coming up for you this month. Um, so Libra. Let's just jump in and see what we have. In your present situation, we have the Four of Wands. So with the Four of Wands in your current situation, this could talk about um, commitment, okay? Or a focus on commitment, or focus on marriage at this time. Conversations about marriage, planning a wedding. It could also be moving in together with your partner at this time, or contemplating this, having a conversation about this, okay, with the Four of Wands. Um, it could also be a new... Uh, workplace romance, okay, that you're contemplating at this time. Someone you work with could have um, uh, really caught your eye with the Four of Wands. Um, this is also a focus on stability, a focus on long-term potential. Um, a fire sign could be your focus at this time, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius with the Four of Wands here. Um, it could be, you know, to deal with um, issues around the home, property, family, starting a family, uh, commitment, taking things to the next level, starting a new relationship uh, with long-term potential, um, or your focus is definitely on a marriage at this time, for better or for worse. Your main opportunity for the month is the Ten of Wands. So with the Ten of Wands is your main opportunity. This does say that you have the opportunity to uh, learn how to work together with your partner this month. Um, help each other out so that it doesn't feel like the relationship is work as opposed to what it should be. Um, the Ten of Wands as your main opportunity does talk about the end of one cycle, the end of one phase, and then starting something new. Uh, so it could represent, you know, uh, the potential for um, moving in together. Okay, it could be because it could represent a house move. Moving in together, it could represent the opportunity to buy a, a bigger place because you're contemplating starting a family, perhaps. Um, it is an opportunity for you to, if you're single and you have been looking for someone and you know not, no one's been really kind of um, standing out or sticking around or uh, just not the right fit, the Ten of Wands is your main opportunity is... The opportunity for you to let go of what it is that you've been carrying with you from the past and it's actually been preventing you from meeting the right person. So with the Ten of Wands, it could have been holding on to a previous relationship um, and so kind of being closed off to any new, new person coming in. And you could have been doing this subconsciously, not even aware that you're doing it, um, but other people could sense that you're not interested. Um, it could be letting go of preconceived notions or old fantasies of what love should be and actually just being a bit open to just seeing whatever is coming in if you're happy with it how you feel about it just trying something different okay is your main opportunity um and yeah your main opportunity does have to do with the fact that um you can just focus a bit more on you and what makes you happy so balancing out the energy a little bit if especially if you've been taking care of everyone else everyone else's needs and wants and kind of putting yourself uh, last on the list your main opportunity is to focus on yourself this month and uh, focus on manifesting the love you want if you're single um, or focus on uh, communicating with your partner and then helping each other working together um, towards building a beautiful relationship so that it doesn't feel like a chore. It doesn't feel like work. And of course, you do have the opportunity to start something new because this is a, an ending and then something new follows. Your main challenge. Your main challenge is the Page of Cups. Now with the Page of Cups is your main challenge. Uh, this could be, um, again, tying into old fantasies about love. Okay, the Page of Cups is someone who... Uh, is in love with being in love, who's the dreamer, the idealist. Um, and so the challenge in this case would be to open your eyes to what things really are um, and seeing that perhaps 
an old fantasy you've been holding on to uh, doesn't really work for you. It doesn't really serve you. And yet you've been carrying that with you and searching for something that doesn't apply to you. Okay, basically. So for some of you, that's the challenge. For those of you, the challenge is loving communication. It's to say I love you more, pretty much. Okay, it's to be grateful for what you do have, to be grateful for your relationship, to be grateful for your partner, to be grateful for the loving people you have in your life, and to express your love more, to to be more affectionate, to be more loving, to take the time uh, to just talk, to just have a conversation. I feel like you may be really, really busy at this time. And so that's why this comes up as a challenge for you because you have to make time, you have to prioritize your love life at this time, you have to prioritize your partner, spending time with your partner, uh, communicating with your partner, being more loving, being more open um, with your partner. The challenge can also revolve around a child um, or, or a pregnancy. So perhaps the challenge is that you suddenly find out that you're going to have a child and it just puts things in a completely different perspective. It's going to be something completely new in your life. Um, and you're talking about, you know, what do we do with this? Do we get married? Do we live together? What do we do with this? So for some of you, that could be going on. And for this, this could be an immature person trying to cause you grief. Um, or trying to intervene, okay, in the relationship. Um, it could be a water sign, a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. But it's just someone who is a bit immature. And they don't really know what they're talking about, but they sound like they do. <clears throat> and so I feel like the challenge is to distinguish fact from fiction. Uh, because what this person may be talking about is completely unrealistic and irrelevant. <clears throat> and the challenge can also be <clears throat> for some of you to slow down. I feel like some of you may be focused on starting a family at this time. And the challenge would be slow down. Make sure that everything is taken care of. Make sure that everything is um, okay before you can move to this next stage. The opportunity for, for you to do this is there, but it's how you do it. It's taking the time and doing things properly. And so the challenge would be slow down um, and take care of everything. Make sure you've got everything in the right place. And then you can move on to this. Your advice is the Knight of Wands. So with the Knight of Wands, okay, it's interesting because I was just saying that for some of you, it's just it's just about slowing down. And the Knight of Wands is a card that says, move forward. Okay, it's a card that says, take charge, take action. The advice would be, for those of you, you know, who have been contemplating commitments and moving in together, living together, the Knight of Wands, as advice, it does talk about moving in together, changing um, where you live or changing um, your living situation. Okay, so for some of you, this is just saying, yes, go ahead with that. Of course, trust your intuition. You're going to know what's best for you. But for some of you, it definitely says go ahead with that. It's a good option. It's a good choice. For those of you, I do feel like this talks about your temper. I feel like it's just saying balance out your temper. There's a few wands cards in here talking about maybe you're a bit fired up. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that, but it, it can lead to being impatient and impetuous. So with the Knight of Wands, I feel like for some of you, it does talk about... Um, slow down a little bit and always check in with your partner um, in existing relationships especially um, it says make sure you're on the same page make sure you know they're just um, perhaps they're just thinking yeah okay we're gonna move in together and then see where it goes from there and then you're thinking okay well if we if we move in together then we need to get married a, a couple of months later or something like that okay so this is just saying make sure that you're always on the right page um, on the same page with your partner um, and don't take it too quickly, okay, um, with this Knight of Wands. Um, for those of you who are single, this is definitely saying take charge. Take charge of your love life right now. Don't hide away in a corner. Don't be idealistic in terms of um, how you need to meet the right person, when you need to meet the right person. Just go out and enjoy yourself, have fun, and just be open to the possibility. And if you do meet someone you like, then ask them out. Have that conversation. Don't procrastinate, okay? Don't 
create unnecessary delays, and definitely don't pass up good opportunities when it comes to love life this month. Um, the outcome, we have the Five of Swords. So the Five of Swords as an outcome, okay, if you take the advice. The Five of Swords talks about, it feels like clarification. It feels like cutting, cutting things out that don't match what the plan should be. The Five of Swords can represent a clarifying conversation um, in terms of just getting on the right page, okay, getting on the same page. Um, the Five of Swords is a cautionary energy um, in terms of don't be too impetuous. It's not about who's right and focus on what matters. Don't lose sight of what matters because with these two together, it can turn into a simple conversation can turn into a big argument where the focus then becomes who's right and who's wrong and, you know, it doesn't need to get to that. Um, and so this is just something to be mindful of and just take caution that it doesn't get to that. Um, the Five of Swords can also represent let me think. The Five of Swords can also represent a victory but it feels like a hollow victory so it could be if you do push your partner, you're going to get what you want, but it's not going to be what they want. And so that can cause issues further down the road. Not what they want at this time, not necessarily ever, but just being mindful of that. Okay, and just let me pull another card to see what the Five of Swords is about. And I have the Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords is someone who, it feels like someone who's being stubborn. And my way or the highway. The Queen of Swords can be um, you have beautiful potential here, but with these two, with the Five of Swords and the Queen of Swords, if you uh, don't take the time to talk to your partner, if you don't take the time to clarify where you're going, or if you do not take action when it comes to your love life, if you like someone, um, the Queen of Swords and the Five of Swords talks about just being on your own um, or being emotionally detached or becoming emotionally unavailable. Okay, so we don't want you to get to that. So it's just being mindful um, about how you approach things this month and just focus on balance. Okay, this is your energy. So focus on balance and that healthy give and take because there may be a tendency for things to move really, really quickly. Um, and it's all about, there's nothing wrong with that as long as both parties are happy with the way things are going. But it's just about making sure, having those conversations, okay, as your challenge with the Page of Cups, having those conversations and keeping the conversation loving and compassionate as opposed to fiery and tempestuous. Because that may cause a rift or it may cause arguments or it may cause you to just be more stubborn, more guarded, or your partner to be more stubborn and more guarded and kind of just waste this beautiful potential okay so it's just cautionary letting you know um <clears throat> that if you just stay balanced and be the diplomat that you are things are going to go just right okay there's going to be lots of progress in your love life this month so that's the reading that i have for you i hope that it makes sense and i, d I definitely hope that it helps thank you very much for being here i hope everyone has a good month and i'll talk to you soon take care